Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here to tell you a very important secret. And this secret is about butts, okay? This is how to grow a butt. A butt, a butt. Do you want a butt? Here's the secret. It's not with squats. What? What? Did I just blow your mind? Did I just blow your mind? Yeah, my mind was blown when I found this out too. Here's the deal. Squats are a compound movement, which means you're working several muscle groups. Think about when you're doing a squat. You're working your core. You're working your glutes. You're working your quads. You're working your hamstrings. You're working your calves. You're even working your back. You're even working your arms trying to hold that bar up. If you're trying to grow just your butt, just your glutes, you need to do muscle isolation. Muscle isolation is when you just target one muscle group. We want to grow our butt, so we need to do muscle isolation, glute isolation, and target just a butt. Just the butt. Focus really in on that butt, and we're gonna grow that butt. Today, I'm going to be showing you quite a few movements that are for glute isolation. Your butt has three muscles in it, and we have to do glute isolation to target all three of those muscles in your butt and to help them grow. When it comes to reps and sets, remember, it all depends on your goals. If you're trying to increase the size of your butt, if you're trying to grow your butt, then you need to be doing super heavy weight, you need to push yourself hard, you need to up that weight, and you need to do lower reps. So think really high weight and eight to 10 reps. Diet is key, all right, it sucks. I wish that we could just work out and eat whatever we want. But if you have goals, uh, it just doesn't work like that. So remember, really key into your nutrition. If you have a super low calorie, low carb diet, you're not gonna gain muscle mass. You need those carbs, you need those calories, the right kind of calories, the right kind of carbs to really drive your muscle growth. Side note, this is, for me, this is great news. For me, this is great news. It hopefully is good news. If you're not a runner, if you're not into cardio, I have good news. If you're on the treadmill all day, like, just running all day, you're burning all of that muscle off. You're not going to gain your curves, your butt. You're not gonna get a butt. You're not gonna get a butt if you're sprinting on a treadmill for hours and hours and hours on end. Cardio is still important. Focus more on HIIT cardio, high intensity interval training. Any kind of HIIT cardio, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you only need 15 to 20 minutes of it a day. If you're trying to gain muscle mass, do not sprint, do not run on a treadmill for hours on end. You're just gonna be flat and we want an ass. You know, do, do you know what I'm saying? All right guys, I'm heading to the gym. I'm taking you with me. I'm gonna show you quite a few glute isolation exercises. Throw them into your shoulder day, throw them into your chest day. I do legs twice a week, and then I'll throw glute isolation in on one of those days on top of it. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, please. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video again. Never. You'll never miss it, because it'll pop up in your subscription box, and you'll be like, hey, wait, upload a new video, I gotta watch that. So these are cable kickbacks. Notice that I bend down, and then I keep my legs straight. This is important because we're working our under butt, so keep that leg straight, push through, and squeeze your glute at the top. The difference between this one and the other one is that here I bend my leg. So when I bring my foot down, I bend my leg here, and I push right back up, squeeze at the top. I'm not very good at making names, so all I can say is a glute push down, but this is on the assisted pull-up machine. Just heavy that weight and then push down. This is my favorite exercise to really target the side of your butt. I do 25 pounds and I just straight my leg and kick up. You'll feel it right in the side glute. Here I'm on the leg press machine, but my stance is quite a bit different. My feet are at the very top and my toes are pointed out. This really targets your glutes and you're going to really feel this all through your legs as well. 
find glute bridges with a bar placed on my hips is too painful, so I found that using the leg extension machine is a lot easier. Point your toes out, heels in, and get deep. I mean, honestly, how bad am, am I at naming exercises? You know, the best I got was a glute press here on the same leg extension machine. If it's weird, have a friend place it on your foot and then press straight back, straighten your leg, and squeeze at the top. And lastly, the weirdest exercise of them all, side glute press. Hold on to the bar, hold a squat, and press out. You will feel it so much more than if you're sitting down.